Hey everyone, and welcome to a special coffee tasting episode. This week we're going to be doing four of our latest coffees we have available to buy and talking about coffee processes. Coffee cherry is a multi-layered thing. So getting rid of all of those layers takes hard work and special processes. And the way you remove them will also affect the flavor. Let's start by comparing two coffees from one origin, Burundi, but they're two different processes. The Impanga by Machina Coffee is a natural. So basically, after they're picked from the trees, they'll be laid out in the sun and then left to rot for quite a while. And that, of course, will affect the bean itself. And what can you expect from a natural coffee? Well, you tend to get more sort of funky flavors or boozy notes or tropical sweetnesses, elongated flavors. Oh, and it is quite a funky natural, this one. Wine-like sort of sweetness. It's a streak. It's long. The finish is long. Not too funky, not too wild. And we've got a second Burundi here, which is a washed. This one is from Swiss Coffee Roasters Birch Batch. They're one of the newest roasters that we're representing now. Same region, Kayanza. Coffee bean is probably the most sticky fruit you can imagine. And that complicated process of washing the coffee bean means that it has to go through several stages. And it, it really couldn't be more different when you consider that these beans came from very similar areas of the same country. The finish is much shorter. That's what you tend to get with the washed coffees. Like a sorbet almost, they can evaporate quicker. And um, you can expect more acidity in a washed coffee. This one is a Brazil coffee, which is a pulped natural. In Brazil, they tend to do mostly natural processed coffees, but in specialty coffee, you can expect to find uh, some pulp natural and natural coffees. So after this pulping process, they then take those coffee beans and lay them out in the sun to dry, and then that sort of natural process happens, but the skin has been removed. So it's a shorter process. It feels like the sort of natural influences in this coffee are very, very subtle, really in the background. At first, I was tasting these kind of chocolate notes and hazelnut, very prominent flavor notes that you would get with the Brazilian coffee. But then subtly, as it cools, this sort of mandarin emerges right between the lines. And finally, this is another natural coffee, and it's from Rwanda. Rwanda is a country that is known predominantly for washed coffees. So now we can expect with natural processes in Rwanda to reveal a whole spectrum of new flavors. Woo, wow, that is different. You get the funkiness, but in this kind of clean punch, it's really strange. Normally the funky flavors sort of come around the sides of the mouth, through the middle. This has this strange kind of leap so there you have it. You've got four basic different processes. There are other processes, and we'll talk about that with other coffees to come. These coffees are available to buy on our web shop, as well as many others. Keep exploring, because every week there's gonna be new coffees. For now, remember, light roast is the right roast. <laughs>